Hey guys, game one of the ALDS. All we're waiting for is the Astros 26 man roster to be released so we can discuss and we can go ahead and see who's on there, who's not. And that way we could talk about it on the what's this? Oh, it's the 26 man roster. Wait. <gasps> ah! to Locked On Astros, your daily Astros podcast. Here are your hosts, Eric the Man Heisman and Brett H-Town Wheelhouse Chansey. We are Locked On Houston Astros and we hope that you join us for a daily Locked On Astros podcast. My name is Eric Heisman. You can find me on Twitter or X at Eric Talk Strohs. You can find the show at Locked On Astros, your team every day. Brett is getting ready to go to game. I'm getting ready to go to lunch with my uh, parents for uh, my stepdad's um, birthday. And then I'm going to go to a friend's house to watch the game. But I'm super excited. It is game day. And if you like that little skit to start that, that was uh, directed by my daughter. She helped me produce that. So uh, it was just an um, idea. We're trying to go off the TMZ type of type of atmosphere here. But this was a kind of a shocker once we got the, well, sort of, and not really a shocker. But you know what's not shocking? All the people that are part of Locked on Astros Nation, I want to say thank you to everybody that listens to the Locked on Astros podcast every day. Whether it's on YouTube, go and keep on subscribing to us. Go and make us your first listen on Apple, Odyssey, Spotify. Wherever you listen to your podcast, go and check out the Locked on Astros podcast and uh, become an everyday or somebody that listens to our podcast every day. And so when I saw this, it made me think back to yesterday's show. And I did make a comment. I don't know if y'all remember listening to this, but I said there's one player that I almost left off my roster, and that was Kendall Graveman. And I was like, for some reason, Kendall Graveman just doesn't stand out to me this year. Yes, the Astros traded Corey Lee to go get Kendall Graveman. Yes, it was big, um, big thing for the Astros bullpen to really give an upgrade to the bullpen. But at the end of the day, the Astros for the past two seasons have gone with 12 pitchers in the ALDS. And so it's not surprising for them to continue that trend. But you traded your future catcher for, I know Yiner Diaz is probably the future catcher now, but it was just kind of a shocker. It was, that's why I went with this whole TMZ uh, theme here. So it was just like a shocker. Uh that type of thing. But looking at the why, there's actually, it wasn't necessary that he struggled. Like yesterday on the show, I said, well, I think it's because he hasn't really had a good year. And I, I would actually, let me turn myself off. Uh, he's actually done pretty well since he's come over to Houston. Uh, so with the White Sox, he was three and four with the 3.48 ERA. He had how many saves he had? Where's the saves? He had eight saves and he had 42 strikeouts and 44 innings with the Houston Astros. He was two and two with a 2.42 ERA. He had 24 strikeouts and 22 and one thirds innings. The problem with Astros fans, the problem with me is we have this kind of recency bias and we remember what, what have you done for me recently? So I looked at his last 13 games In his last 13 games. He has a 3.27 ERA. He, in 11 innings, he has 11 strikeouts. He has nine walks. Nine walks is a lot. And uh, so that may lead up to the reason why he's off the ALDS roster. He's also allowed two um, home runs in that time. And his last appearance to where he gave up um, a lot of runs uh, was actually, well, the he gave up multiple runs on August 23rd. He gave up two runs. He's, he gave up one run. On the September 6th, then September 9th, he gave up a run. But for the most part, he's been pretty reliable uh, for the rest of the season. So I think what's going on here is it's really what they say it is. It's an injury situation. So they said that it was right shoulder uh, discomfort. So that's what the Astros are calling it. So it's uh, right shoulder discomfort. So does that mean he's out of the ALCS if the Astros make it that far? 
I don't think that's the case. I just think that the, this is just something that maybe they're monitoring. Max Scherzer is out for the Rangers for the ALDS as well, but he's likely to come back for the ALCS. So that would be a big lift for the uh, Rangers. And I think Kendall Graveman could be a, a big lift for the Astros in the ALCS, a ALDS. Uh, or sorry, ALCS, I was right. But kind of a big shocker is who made the team instead of Kendall Graveman. And not to diss John Singleton at all, but he had that two home run game where he had that awesome, like, okay, this is his time. This is his time to shine. But with the Houston Astros, he batted 194 with a 301 on base percentage, which is not terrible. Uh, he had a 323 slugging percentage, which is not great, uh, but he had a 624 OPS, which is not good, and his OPS plus, which was 73, which is way be below league average. So he is on the Astros 26-man ALDS roster. So that means there's nobody else that's really ready to help the Astros in the playoffs this year. So there's no surprise, no Randy Rosarina that's going to come up and just shock the world. Um, so I, I just think that the Astros went with somebody they knew, somebody they're comfortable with, and he's likely only going to be there as a pinch hitter or somebody maybe for Martin Maldonado late in game. If you have Dubon starting in center field, maybe you can pinch it for him. But uh, this is just uh, maybe a matchup type of situation. So, um, yes, I know that uh, it's not really that shocking that Graveman is off the roster. Uh, you, you, History would tell you that the Astros prefer to have 12 pitchers in the ALDS five-game series. You don't need the extra pitcher. When you go to ALCS, you definitely like having 13 and 13. That way you have the extra pitcher. But it's just, I think it's more shocking that uh, they left him off and added John Singleton. So uh, I don't think it's going to have a big impact on the series at all. Um, like I said yesterday, I actually forgot about Kendall Graveman. No, not a diss towards Kendall Graveman. It just, he hasn't really been a big part of the Astros bullpen. He's been somebody that's been around. He's come into some games, but the Astros have all these studs in the bullpen, and it's just hard to just get super excited about a guy like him. So does that mean he's not going to have a big role in the Astros come uh, the ALCS? No, I don't think so at all. I just think that it just wasn't really uh, – they didn't really need him. And the playoffs are here, guys which means the clock is ticking for your chance to win 100 times your money by using FanDuel. That's right, 100 times your money. So uh, it's a daily fantasy baseball app. Baseball has never been more exciting than it is right now with studs like Acuna, Betts, and Otani. I know Otani may not be with the Angels too much longer. He's not in the playoffs this year, but there are many teams in the playoffs like the Houston Astros. Pick more or less on stats for stars like Stats like home runs, hits, strikeouts, and more for up to 100 times the payout on Sleeper. Get your picks right and you could win big. Uh, what about uh, telling your friends and go ahead and uh, kind of having some competitions against them? What players do you think for the Astros could help you win 100 times your money? Uh, who would you really bet on to, uh, to hit that big home run for the Astros in the ALDS to get them to the ALCS where they belong? And so what about the, the, you can create a group or a team to kind of help you. Maybe um, you want to, you don't th think that you're maybe the Jeff Luno. You need this whole brain trust to kind of help you. So maybe you can uh, create your nerd squad to kind of help you. So entries can be made another minute and go ahead and check out um, FanDuel. So uh, you use the promo code locked on and you get up to a hundred dollars match on your first deposit terms and conditions apply. S see uh, sleep sleepers terms of use for details flash um, uh, sleepers logo and deposit match code. And uh, you can get a hundred dollars off. And I think I did the wrong thing there. Oh, well, it's supposed to be this one. Sorry. It's supposed to be a uh, sleeper. Anyway, um, so anyway, so let's go ahead and talk about um, the Astros not being the sleeper in this uh, series. I think a lot of people are think, taking the Astros very seriously here. Um, so let's take a look at um, the rest of the roster. 
None of it is really much of a surprise. You have Brian Abreu, Hunter Brown, JP France, Christian Javier, Phil Maton, Rafael Montero, Hector Neris, Ryan Presley, Ryan Stanek, Jose Urquidy, Frommer Valdez, and Justin Verlander. The catchers, Yainer Diaz, Martin Maldonado. Infielders, you have Jose Abreu, Jose Altuve, Alex Bregman, Mauricio Dubon, Greg Kessinger, Jeremy Pena, John Singleton. Outfielders, I know Alvarez may play DH, but it depends on how much Brantley plays DH. But you have Alvarez, Brantley, Chaz McCormick, Jake Myers, and Kyle Tucker. So I guess the next thing that we can kind of talk about for a second is who's going to play in center field. So um, I think that's something that we need to kind of discuss um, real quick. Uh, I know Justin Verlander has typically used um, – Mauricio Dubon in center field, but then we, we had, we heard that Dusty Baker said, no, I don't have a personal center fielder for anybody. So that could be a situation that, well, it, who's the best defender out there? I think a lot of people say, well, Chaz, you need Chaz's bat out there. But if you look at what happened in September, uh, Dubon's bat has been actually a little bit better than Chaz's bat. And you can argue that maybe it's because Chaz hasn't played as much. So he hasn't really got that at, at that time to get his at bats in. So that could be a situation there. So, um, but uh, who, who do y'all think would get the start in center field in this game? I'm going to have to lead with this. Uh, it's very important to get game one of the ALDS because you can't give home field advantage back to the twins. And so if, if you lose game one, then, um, and you win game two, then all the twins have to do is win game three and four, and then the series is over. So that's why I think that um, Dusty Baker is going to put the best defensive lineup out there, especially with your ace out there, and especially after how he's pitched recently. And Dubon has been hitting recently. So I think that, um, He's, he's going to put Devon out there. Yes, I think Chaz is a great defender too. I'm not discounting Chaz at all, but I just think that Dusty Baker thinks that Chaz McCormick is the better defender, has the better arm, and he's been hitting recently. So that's why I think Devon's going to be in the lineup over Chaz McCormick. I think the lineup is better with Chaz McCormick in there, but we'll have to see overall how it uh, turns out. But I see a lot of people think, uh, some people say Chaz, so um, let, let me just put some of these people up here. Oh, I guess Brett's joining real quick. Uh, let me go and get him in. Let's go. Let's go, Astros. What's up, Eric? You know, I'm getting so pumped. I'm about to head to the game. I'm going to be loud. I'm wearing orange. Just wanted you guys. Eric, thanks for doing this breaking TMZ style locked on <laughs> Astros, dude. Way to be there, man. I'm sitting here trying to get all my orange on. But, hey, I want to tell you, if you're going to be there, look me up. Hit me up on social media, guys. I'm about to go to the game. My son and I are going to grab something to eat on the way to the game. I'm pumped, dude. Let's go. Let's go get this back-to-back -back World Series title. It starts today. All right. So are you more shocked that Graveman's on the roster or that – sorry, off the roster or that Singleton's on the roster, Brett? Oh, I'm shocked that Singleton's on the roster. I, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't understand it. Um, I, I'll be real honest. Like – I don't know what value he holds in a five game series when he hasn't been dependable lately at the plate. It does not make any sense to me. Kendall Graveman being off. Yeah, we knew one of the pitchers are going to be let off, but I mean, no offense, but don't you have David Hensley who actually has some playoff experience and world series experience. And don't you have Corey Jolks who I would actually much rather Corey Jolks be in there than John Singleton. Right. Again, no offense to John Singleton. He's come back. It's a great story. Love the guy. Good dude. Nothing against him personally. It's just baseball wise. Yeah, this is du Dusty's going to Dusty. But you know what? Let's just let's just hope that I think this is not something that's going to keep them from winning. I just don't know that I agree with the decision. All right. So, Brett, I have a very important task before you step out that door. I need you to go to Minute Maid Park. I need you to be loud. I need you to be obnoxious and I need you to bring home a W. If you do not do that, you're not allowed to another playoff game. Do you understand me, sir? Okay, well, here's the thing. My son and I are undefeated in playoff games when we attend together. He's going with me, and so I am 100% confident that we bring home the W in game one. All right, so I'm going to change the shirt, but um, I had to wear this for I a little bit. I love it. 
I so, love it. No, um, that's great. That's great. So we have brothers playing against each other for right now, but uh, I know they're always going to be brothers, but uh, for right now they're enemies and hopefully uh, the shorter brother wins this series. So anyway, well, Brett, go ahead and take off and um, go have, have some a good fun one, guys. Go All right. Let me actually tell y'all a little bit about FanDuel. Uh, so FanDuel, October baseball is back and you can make the postseason debut with FanDuel. It's America's number one sports book. Join FanDuel today and you'll get started with $200 in bonus bets guaranteed when you place your first $5 bet. Just visit FanDuel.com slash locked on, create your new account. Then you can get in the action from the first pitch until the final out. Bet on anything from strikeouts to home runs who will win the game. And if you don't want to wait uh, the whole game to get the W, predict what will happen in the next at bat with quick bets. So head over to FanDuel.com slash locked on right now. Step up to the plate this postseason with $200 in bonus bets guaranteed. Make every moment more with FanDuel, official sports betting partner of Major League Baseball. So uh, let's go ahead and let me get my name back up here. I want to go ahead and just um, put some of y'all's thoughts up there. So um, what are some uh, what are some thoughts of, of y'all's of the roster? So uh, Marco says, why is Kester on the roster? Uh, because you don't really have another infielder. Uh, I know that Dubon can technically play center field. I mean, sorry, shortstop, but you need somebody that can uh, come in, play first base, and uh, play shortstop, play second base. So that's what Greg Kessinger can do. And honestly, you just don't really have that many options right now. Uh, the minor league system has some talent but they're more at the lower levels. There's nobody that's really right there to help us right now. You traded them away. Corey Lee could have helped us in the playoffs this year, but you traded him away for Kendall Graveman. You traded away some of the players um, like, uh, like uh, God, what's that outfielder um, that we traded for? I, I they traded to get uh, Verlander. I'm, the, the name slipping my mind, but that good outfielder we traded, he could be up here helping us right now. Uh, but we traded him to get Justin Verlander. So um, I think that the minor league system is a little bit thin at the AAA level right now. Uh, Pedro Leon, I don't think that he's ready to help the team maybe next year. But um, uh, I think Myers is on the team. Isn't he on the team? Or is he not on the team? Yeah, Myers is on the team. Drew Gilbert. I couldn't think of his name for a second. I guess I once you're away from Houston, uh, I just kind of forget about you. But uh, I think that if Drew Gilbert was uh, still with the Astros, he probably would have been up here. But there's nobody that's really – I think that there's some names like um, Shea Whitcomb that maybe could have come up. But the Astros just didn't want to start some arbitration clocks um, this early. And so uh, they are where they are because – of that they didn't want to dig too deep into the farm system. So you got John Singleton, Greg Kessinger for now. And who knows? Greg Kessinger could be that Derek Fisher, the guy that has that big run to uh, win a, a big game for you, or he can make that big play for you. Or John Singleton could get that pinch hit home run for you. I don't see John Singleton starting a game in this series, but he could have a big walk to um, walk the bases loaded or something like that. So we'll see how Dusty Baker uses this. But uh, what are your predictions for the series as we wrap up this show? Um, do you think the Ashes win it in four, five, and three? What Make your predictions. I'll go and put them up on the screen. So, yeah, Sosa was not uh, eligible for the roster because they picked him up after September 1st. So he had to be um, on the Astros roster prior to September 1st to be eligible for the postseason. So... Um, so, uh, Astros in three Astros in four, uh, some people are saying they're not jinxing. That's fine. Um, Stros in four, uh, where's the Chicago fans? No, no Chicago fans in here. Okay. I mean, not Chicago. Why am I keep on thinking Chicago? I guess the trade with, uh, for Kendall Graveman, but no Minnesota fans. We went in four. Maldi losing game for us. Oh, come on. Come on, Tori. Be a little bit more positive there. But anyway, so I'm excited about game one. I think game one is going to be a pitcher's duel. I think the Astros are going to win this one. Something around three to one, 
maybe four to one that type of thing. But I think Justin Verlander is going to go out there and kind of quiet all the critics about um, just how he struggles in playoffs. Now the question is, he he has a, a especially last year he has a history of having good games and bad games. So does he start off with a good game or does he start with a bad game? Hopefully. In a five-game series, he starts off with a good game. So Brett and I will be doing a podcast after today's game. Uh, so I just wanted to come in and talk about the shocking roster development. Kendall Graveman off the ALDS roster and John Singleton in. Will it have an effect on the ALDS series? I don't think so. Uh, you heard it first on uh, the Locked on Astros podcast with Eric Heisman. We'll see you after a game and go Strokes. Make sure you subscribe to us. On YouTube, make us your first listen on Apple, Odyssey, Spotify, wherever you listen to your podcasts. Go and check out the Lockdown Astros podcast. Have a good day. Let's have some fun and let's kick the twins' butt. See you tomorrow. See you later. Wrap the music.